Today we are going to discuss about how to calculate effective nuclear charge. First we have to know what is effective nuclear charge. The net nuclear charge experienced by an electron in a polyelectronic atom is called effective nuclear charge. Let me explain what it means. Let us take one example. Here it is rubidium. Its atomic number will be 37 and its electronic configuration that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10 and 4p6, 5s1 is the electronic configuration of rubidium. Here it is 5s1 that is s subshell of one electron present in fifth shell of rubidium. Clear? Here it is 4s2, 4p6. Both S and P subshells are present in fourth shell of rubidium. Clear? Here it is 3s2, 3p6, 3d10. That uh, S and P, D subshells are present in third shell of rubidium. Here it is 2s2, 2p6. That uh, S and P subshells present in second shell of rubidium. Okay, clear? Here it is 1s2. That is S sub shell of two electrons present in first shell of rubidium. Okay. Total these electronic configuration is represented in shells. That is, here it is nucleus of rubidium. Here it is first shell of rubidium. That is n equal to 1. Principal quad number. That is n equal to 1. Here it is second shell of rubidium. That is n equal to 2. Here it is third shell of rubidium. n equal to 3. Here it is fourth shell of rubidium that is n equal to 4 and fifth shell of rubidium that is n equal to 5. Okay. Rubidium having total 5 shells. But here in fifth shell having only S subshell that having only 5 S1, only 1 electron. Clear? Here it is fourth shell 4 S2, 4 P6. That the fourth shell having only 4s2, 4p6 electrons. Clear? Here it is torsion. Torsion is 3s2, 3p6 and 3d10. That is 3 subshells S, P, D. Okay? Total these 3 subshells are present in torsion of rubidium. That is 3s2, 3p6 and 3d10. Clear? Here it is second shell. Second shell that is S and P subshells present in second shell of rubidium that is 2s2 2p6 and lastly that is 1s2 that 1s2 present in first shell of rubidium here it is fifth shell fifth shell is the valency shell of rubidium and 5s1 this one electron is valency electron of rubidium okay clear this valency shell also called ultimate shell of rubidium and the fourth shell is penultimate shell of rubidium and third shell is anti-penultimate shell of rubidium. Okay, clear? Here it is valency shell and its electron. That is valency electron of rubidium. Okay? These electrons are inner core electrons of rubidium. Due to these inner core electrons, the nuclear force of attraction in between the nucleus and the valency electrons will be reduced. These effect is called screening effect or shielding effect due to these shielding effect or screening effect valency electrons experiences less attraction force towards nucleus and that brings decrease in the nuclear charge actually present in the nucleus these reduced nuclear charge expressed in terms of effective nuclear charge these effective nuclear charge represented by z star or z EFF okay here z star equal to z minus sigma here sigma is screening effect or shielding effect z is atomic number of given element okay then how to calculate effective nuclear charge here electrons in r bus if electrons present in different r bus that r bus may be s or p or d or f r bus then that electrons screening effect value will be calculated by this table here for electron in our bell. Okay. N is valence shell, N minus function, N minus 2, N minus 3, N minus 4, etc. 
if the electron present in nth shell or valence shell, its screening effective value for SR P subshells will be 0 0.35. If electron present in nth minus 1 shell, its screening effective value for SR P subshells will be 0 0.85. And if electron present in n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4, etc., then that electron screening effective value for SR P subshells will be only 1. Okay. If electron present in nth shell, then that electron screening effect value for D or F subshells will be 0 0.35. If electron present in different shells, remaining different shells, then that electron screening effect value for D or F, F shells will be 1. How to calculate effective nuclear charge of rubidium? Here it is Z star. Z star is effective nuclear charge. Here it is Z. Z is atomic number. Sigma is screening effect value. That value will be calculated by this table. Here it is 5S1. 5S1 is valence shell of rubidium and it is represented by N. N is valence shell of rubidium. Okay. Here it is 4S2, 4P6. These 4S2, 4P6 present in N minus 1 shell. Here it is 3s2, 3p6 and 3d10. These three are gas present in n minus 2 shell. Here it is 2s2, 2p6. These two are gas present in n minus 3 shell. And here 1s2. That 1s2 present in n minus 4 shell. Okay. Then how to calculate rubidium effect to nuclear charge? Here it is z star. Z star equal to z minus sigma. Here z is atomic number of rubidium, sigma is effective nuclear charge of valence electron to be calculated by this table. Okay, here z star effective nuclear charge, z is atomic number 37 minus sigma. Sigma value for n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4. Here n minus 1 shell having total 8 electrons, n minus 2 having total 18 electrons. Here 8 plus 10, total 18 electrons. N minus 3 shall having total 8 electrons. N minus 4 shall having total 2 electrons present in S sub shell. Okay, clear. Here, N minus 1. That N minus 1 shall having total 8 electrons. That 8 electrons present in S and P sub shells. That each electron value will be, that is N minus 1, 0 0.85 per each electron. But here, total 8 electrons present, that is 18 to 0 0.85. Okay, clear. Next, n minus 2. n minus 2 shall having total 18 electrons. 8 electrons present in S and P subshell. And 10 electrons present in B subshell. That total S, P, D. Okay, present in n minus 2. n minus 2. That each electron value will be 1. That is 18 into 1 plus next n minus 3. That n minus 3 shall having total 8 electrons present in S and P subshell. That is n minus 3, n minus 3. That each electron value will be 1. 18 to 1 plus and next n minus 4. That n minus 4 shall having 2 electrons. Each electron value will be 1. That is 2 into 1. Okay. Then to calculate this value, finally we get the star equal to 2.2. 2.2 is the effective nuclear charge of rubidium for valency electron. Let us take another example. Here it is chlorine. Atomic number of chlorine will be 9 and its configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. Here it is 2s2, 2p5 present in valency shell or nth shell of chlorine. 1s2 present in n minus 1 shell of chlorine. Okay. Then how to calculate effective nuclear charge of chlorine. Okay. Here z star equal to z minus sigma. Z star equal to z e equal to z is atomic number of chlorine 9 minus sigma. Sigma is the screening effect value that screening effect value will be calculated by this table here total nine electrons are present that 
that is 1 first electron, second electron, third electron, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Here it is valency electron or ninth electron of fluorine. We are calculating effective nuclear charge for ninth electron. Then screening effect value is applicable for these eight electrons. Okay, clear? Here it is sigma, that is sigma means total seven electrons are present, but we are calculating screening effect value for six electrons. Remaining one electron is valence electron. We are calculating effective nuclear charge for these electrons. Okay, clear? Here it is, remaining electrons are 6 into, that is, these 6 electrons present in nth shell of S or T substance, that is, each electron value will be 0 0.35. Here it is 6 electrons, 6 into 0 0.35 plus, here it is N minus 1, that N minus 1 shall having 2 electrons in S sub shell, that is, N minus 1, these N minus 1 shall having 2 electrons, that is, 2 into 0 0.85. Then to calculate this value, finally we get 5.2. That is the effective nuclear charge value for fluorine. Let us take another example. Here it is sodium and its atomic number will be 11 and its electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s1. Okay. Then how to calculate effective nuclear charge of sodium? Here it is Z star, Z star equal to Z minus sigma. That is Z star equal to Z is atomic number of sodium is 11 minus sigma. Sigma is screening effect value of sodium. That is we are calculating effective nuclear charge of valence electron. Then screening effect value for remaining electrons. But here it is valence shell, here it is n minus 1 shell, here it is n minus 2 shell. n minus 1 shell having total 8 electrons present in S and P subshells. n minus 1 shell, n minus 1 shell for S or P subshells, that is 0 0.85 per each electron, that is total 8 electrons present 8 into n minus 1 is. 0 0.85 plus in n minus 2 shell 2 electrons present in s sub shell s sub shell n minus 2 is each electron having one value that is 2 into 1 okay then finally we get z star equal to 2.2 is the effective nuclear charge of sodium okay clear